everybody, how you doing today? Today we're going to put the Roomba i6 Plus through the pickup test in the testing room. If you're new to this, this is where I put down 7.6 ounces of debris consisting of white rice, fruity pebbles, a few jelly beans, and some fruit loops, and also a little bit of sand. So before this test, I weigh the dirt bin empty, then after the test we're going to weigh it and see exactly how much it picked up. So I've done this test to about 10 different robot vacuums now. We'll compare them to how well those other ones did. We'll see which one's on the top as of right now. I think this is gonna do a very good job down here. So I already mapped the area down here, so should know where to go. All right, so I'm gonna run this guy on automatic mode. So it's gonna decide if it thinks it needs to clean this once or twice. And the way you'll see that is I'll have an overhead shot of this entire cleaning run and it will go one way, and then if it decides it needs to clean again, it'll go the complete opposite direction for the cleaning run. So let's take a look at the mess. 7.6 ounces, doesn't sound like much, but it's actually quite a bit of debris. So there's six different flooring types down in my testing room. Got a really thick carpet there, medium density carpet, the other carpet over there is going to be your standard kind of thin, cheap carpet that most houses get by default. Then you have carpet tiles, tiles with grout, and then a kind of like a hard floor surface. So this, I think overall is a pretty good test. Really shows the capabilities of all these different robot vacuums. And it really does show which ones are bad. And there's a few that have done really poorly in this test. Alright, let's go ahead and get this test going. The bin is empty. As soon as I start it, I'm going to take the bag out of the self-empty bin. So when it comes back, it won't automatically empty and mess up the test. So here we go. Good luck to you, Roomba i6 Plus. I really do think this is going to do an excellent job. What do you guys think? Take out this bag real quick. One thing you'll see Roombas do a lot compared to any other robot vacuum. See that blue circle? When it detects a lot of dirt under it, it'll go back and forth over that section to get up as much debris as possible, which is really good. They do have a pattern on this, so that's why you don't see other manufacturers doing this. Another amazing thing with this, since this is kind of a large test, when it senses that the bin is completely full, it'll automatically come back and self-empty, whereas every other robot vacuum cannot do that. And if you happen to have a ton of debris down, it's gonna air out or just stop cleaning because the bin is gonna be so full and it doesn't know to go empty itself. This is the one reason why I highly recommend Roombas, especially if you want a self-empty bin. As you can see, the carpet that it went over looks pretty much perfect. There's a giant clump of stuff that's going to have to run over. Most likely we'll do that when it hits this. Look at how well I picked up that huge pile. Alright, I'm going to switch you guys to the overhead view. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and do it in real time. If you like it being in real time, which it's going to be long, it's going to be a good 30-40 minute video, which might get boring, so I think I should probably speed it up a little bit, but I want to do whatever you guys want. So let me know down in the comments on this specific video. So the first one I'm going to do the entire cleaning run without speeding it up. So I'm going to switch to the overhead. 
please do me a massive favor, smash that like button, consider subscribing, and let me know what other kind of tests you'd like to see. I will be back when it's done.
guys, so the job is complete. Unable to empty bin because the bag is missing. Took 29 minutes. Dirt events was 25, that's how many times it went back over and forward of excess debris. So let's go ahead and see how well it did. The red light is because the bag is missing. All right, so I took the bin out. As you can see, almost completely full. Let's see how much it weighs and then we'll compare it to what it was empty. We're at 15.4 ounces total. The bin before, when it was empty, was 8.5 ounces. So it looks like you picked up a total of 6.9 ounces total, which is very good. Let's see. This guy got 6.9, Eureka got a 5.2. S9 Plus picked up 7.5 ounces. The Roomba 692 got 6.2. Ufi 25C got 6.5. The Amazing Shark IQ 4.7, that's laughable. Dbot T8 Plus 6.3 and the Roomba 981 6.1 ounces. So, so, so far at 6.9, this is the second best. The first one is the Roomba S9 Plus that got 7.5, so it got almost everything. And then this one at 6.9. So that just shows you how good Roombas truly are. Because of their dual brush roll system, it really does an amazing job on carpet. And I can show you that right here. These carpets look absolutely fantastic. And then you come over to the hard floor, it's still good, but not quite as good. This is where that extra ounces went. It's over here on this tile. So yeah, I'm quite impressed. You can get this guy right now on Amazon, used for about $315. I'll put a link down in the description. All right guys, that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, once again, Roombas are awesome. I think they're still the best on the market. And they're definitely the most pricey, but you get what you pay for. They've been around a long time. I believe this would last a lot longer than any other competitor that's, you know, much cheaper. I don't know. I love it. I think it's a great robot. I actually bought one of the ones used from Amazon that I recently put. We bought that for my business, and we're going to run that in a 1,500 square foot office, like a storefront, and we'll see how well it can handle that. That'll be a future video. All right, guys, please do me a favor, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.